was eating. Uh, and I was, you know, curled up there, and she was had a washcloth that she would dab me with every now and then. I, and in her other hand, she had this massive book. And I understand from later that what she was doing was she was studying for a class she was teaching. So it's kind of the, that's the combo. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> teaching and kids, juggling all that. Right. Yeah, and taking classes too. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know which it was, but, yeah. but it was a big old book. <laughs> well, my impression of Mama, strongest impression, I guess, is that she knew everything. And I mean, anytime you yeah. wanted to know anything, she was the smartphone. Yeah. You know, you just call her and you'd ask her about whatever, and she had the answer. I guess she had a photographic memory. So anything she read, and she read, of course, all the time, was yeah. there, and she could recall. Yeah. So uh, it's that confident that. that she knew everything, and if you wanted to know anything, and that you weren't sure about it, whatever, you just call her, you ask her. And she, and she always knew. She I mean, always she knew. always did know. Josh and I used to play a game with her where him and I, we would go around the house, and we would crawl upstairs and through passageways and everything else, and all of the books in those shelves were, were double to triple thick. And we would find a book that hadn't been looked at for 60 years, and we'd say, or whatever the title was, and she and she would say, oh yeah, well that was written by such and such, it's about blah blah blah, and, and, you know and you'd look, was written, yeah, and, and she was, was right, and we never, we never actually stumped her on anything, and we tried. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. <laughs> I've had that visual memory before the stroke, but when she was getting, getting old, she would... She told me that occasionally she would look at the wall and she'd just see a page of a book in front of her. Oh, wow. she, it, it, it wow. was spontaneous, clear enough that she could read. Oh, I like that. Wow. So. Wow. But the biggest thing with Grandma is that for me, so it's interesting to see what she taught you guys because I was the oldest, was um, she taught me to cross stitch. She taught oh, me, right. you know, embroidery, which I never could get. <laughs> But, the, but I got cross-stitch really, really good, and crocheting, and knitting, and her needlepoint always just blew me away, but I could never figure that out. Like, it never was a natural thing for me. So that's what I remember. It wasn't cooking, it wasn't, I mean, I remember more of the cooking with Grandpa for me, and that was, I mean, she would be cooking when I do remember in the kitchen and explaining how she would dissect that one that's right there. And I never thought that was gross. I never thought no. that was weird, because right. everything smelled of Scary sandwich. I don't know why it, it, it was so scary to me, but she said, Are you hungry? And I said, Yeah, I'm, I could use it as, as usual. I'm always hungry. She knew that about me. And she went back to the, to the kitchen, which was more like a laboratory to me because there was, there was scary, scary, scary big creatures that I've never seen before and if I ever found digging it up I'd probably run the other way it's not really a mayonnaise jar it's like a jar yeah you can but and it's got some sort of paper or something parchment or whatever uh, yeah. in the lid and she she unrolls that and I'm like that's nothing like I saw in the stores before and it's terrifying me right because I'm just a kid from Lake Oswego, you know, I think everything's packaged and bought in the stores. <laughs> and so whatever it was, <laughs> it was a turkey sandwich and it wasn't anywhere near Thanksgiving. And I'm just thinking to myself, okay, I have to eat this, I'm hungry, and she's giving it to me and she's my grandma, so it was, it was of course, fine and delicious. But the memory of that, for some reason, stuck in my head. The scary sandwich. The scary sandwich. I, 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 I told that story to my my uh, senior chief when I was in the Navy. That no, I told I told I told him he he wanted to know more about my family. I go well, my mom's side, my grandmother's really interesting. She's probably one of the world's you know authorities on earthworms, and he was so. Fat.
fascinated by that. Yeah, <laughs> it is fascinating. He didn't let it go. He goes, that's so fascinating. <laughs> yeah, what yeah, wow. wow. He was just like, Something and then I told him, yeah, you should see some of the things. They're like three feet long. <laughs> and he goes, what? <laughs> I go, yeah. yeah. I'm not kidding. You always wanted to find one. That was the thing. Oh, I mean, yeah. You'd be out oh, in the garden yeah. or maybe camping or something. And, you know, she talked about how there was the giant earthworms up in our hills up here. And you were always looking for one. You were going to find it. Valsets. You never oh, did, yeah. but yeah. always think you were going to find that six foot worm. Yeah. Right. <laughs> giant <laughs> earthworm. Yeah. yeah. The smell of <laughs> You find one of those babies, right? This, what? Yeah. The lilac. It smells like flowers. Yeah. yeah. Lilac. Lilac. Right? Yeah. The giant earthworm. Well, when I say it, yeah, or was it lilies? Lilies. lilies? lilies. Okay. Uh, oh, I thought it was yeah. kind of very flowery. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Flowery. Yeah. And, you know, wow. Yeah, so, somewhat, sometimes flowery good, sometimes flowery bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But flowery. One time I was fishing with Grandma, and she was in the middle of the boat, and I was in the front, and it was tiny. And we got, we actually, we caught. Uh, 36 crappies in a half hour wow. with three of us. But so I get, so I catch hey, one, and I'm like, hey, can you take this off? So I, you know, it's like there wasn't room. And she's like, yeah, here, hold my pole. Like, hey, can you take this one off too? <laughs> and she was so, she was mad for weeks that I was catching fish on her pole. <laughs> like that's my fish. I'm, like, well, I, I'm she's, helping you. You help like, me. Like, she, was, she, she was like legitimately mad about it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I did have a really interesting thing happen to me the night she died. I drove to her. Yeah. I had a, I had a, it wasn't like she visited me. Um, it was just the thought of this book I had as a kid that, she, that I'd gotten out of her library. It was probably, you know, usually uh, she could probably be mad at me right now for losing it, but some other kid <laughs> stole it from me because it was so cool. It was just a calligraphy book, and it had all these oh. artsy calligraphy stuff. I remember that. Yeah. It's a cool book. It yep. was a really cool book, and I and I, I thought I thought I'm gonna ask Grandma. She'll know what the name of the book is because I was actually looking it up as I was going to sleep or something, oh. like, trying to find it. And oh, I'll just ask Grandma. And then she didn't find it. She didn't find it. Yeah. I'll yeah. never know now. Yeah. But. It was fun to That's see her nice. every week. I got to see her every, every, I think two or three times a week. I'd I remember. I'd forgotten out. about that. It was yeah. nice. That is yeah. nice. And so, yeah, that was kind of my time. I feel like I got to know her. Yeah. Like a uh, young, young adult, too. These like grandma. So, yeah, I really cherished that time things. with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I really got to spend 12 or 10 That's nice. year and a half. I'm so glad so. you so had that. That was right before I moved to so that That's was really, great. that was fun. And it was really fun to connect with the spinning, like her tribe. Just right. like, hey, I don't have that rhythm. <laughs> Who does? Uh, I'll try. <laughs> something. Right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, we can do or this. Grab yeah. something. I'm really good at that. I did get the needle point <laughs> down a bit. I was pretty, I did that pretty good. Yeah. Um, I do have so a cherished item uh, yeah. that Grandma gave me when I was a kid, a little Dutch boy hat. Oh, nice. If anybody has a little Dutch boy head, they can have it. <laughs> it goes with that. I don't want to hit this thing anymore. <laughs> Turn into a big Swedish head on me. Yeah, yeah. It's not a Dutch boy. It looks scene. like a thimble on my head.
room was in the refrigerator too. Oh, and she did a bakery. A bakery. Oh, okay. okay. But it was something that was stringy that looked oh like my it was gosh. And and though I heard it oh out of that she had that heart complication of like, oh yeah. my gosh, is my daughter eating yeah. some alcohol? Oh my <laughs> gosh. The worms that were colored greenish right. like the uh, like the beet greens. Uh -huh. Uh, had been preserved with mercury. Oh, oh, so it was actually, uh, it was actually I mean, the yeah, formaldehyde wouldn't have been so bad. Yeah. Oh my Thanks a lot, Mom. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> my first memory of Mama was, is, is still clear to me. I mean, it was really made such an impression and it's, it's very simple but I was born the last day of July so it was in the summer you know and I remember I was laying on a blanket um, and mama was uh, hanging clothes on a clothesline and she was young and gorgeous and I remember even the color she was wearing a, a kind of a blue striped uh, dress and an apron and she was, you know, shaking sheets and, and hanging them and probably lots of diapers on this line. And I just, I, what I remember the most about it was how much I loved this being. You know, I can't tell you I knew it was my mother or anything, but I just felt this overwhelming love. It, it was just a beautiful, it's really stayed with me. You know, and, and when I think of mama being really young, I, I, that's what I see. That, that blue and white striped dress and, and the flowers blooming, it was that.